Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS X on your Windows machine. Now for this, I'm going to be using VMware Workstation 12, which is used to emulate OS's. So, okay, what you need to do is first get go to this link, which is a Google Drive, and this basically will, this is how you download Mac OS X. See right here? 6.6 gigabytes, so this will take a long time. Now, I've already downloaded it. It's on my desktop right here. Mac OS X. That's what you'll get when you download it. But now you also need to download VMware. So, go to the second link in the description. It's a VMware link. And this will take you to download VMware. So, go ahead and download that. So, when you get these two files, it should be this right here and this right here. So first thing you should do is is go ahead and install VMware 12. Now I've already done it, so I'm not going to go through the process. But in this Mac OS X WinRAR file, go ahead and open it and create a new folder on your desktop. I suggest naming it like Mac OS X or something, but go ahead and drag all of this right here into it, and you should see this right here. So, I have some extra files because I've done this already, but just drag all of this into here. So now what you need to do is open up VMware Workstation once you have installed. Oh wait, I actually forgot a step. Go ahead and go back into this file, go to Unlocker, Unlocker 204, once again. And you should have this file called win-install. Go ahead and right click it and press run as an administrator. Click yes and it will do its process. Okay, so once it's done that, open VMware again, open VMware again and go to open a virtual machine. And go to the file that where you put all this in and there should be only one called OSX 10.11 El Capitan. Go ahead and open this. Now go to edit virtual machine settings. Now under memory, I have 12 gigabytes of RAM, so I'm gonna go with eight. But if you have like eight gigs of RAM, I suggest doing four or six. If you have four, do two. But yeah. So processors keep that same. Hard drive, 80 gigabytes is the most you can get out of it. So, but you don't really need more since it's only gonna be an emulation. So go ahead and just click OK to all this and click Play Virtual Machine. Now when you do that, VMware shows up and then it should go right to the Apple logo. So and after the bar loads, it should take you to the setup screen. So I'm actually going to st stop recording or pause it and come back to you when it's finished. Okay guys, so I am back and... So this is what should show up when you first, when it finishes. So this is the setup for Mac OS X. So go ahead and press continue, continue again, continue, continue. I suggest not using it. Now down here it should come up with a thing that says VMware tools. Go ahead and press install tools. If you want to have a usable Mac OS X, you basically need that. Alright, so go ahead and sign up for your ID. I'm gonna not sign in right now, so I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna agree to the terms of service. Agree. Now go ahead and make your account. I'm just gonna do basic stuff right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a just a cool white password and I don't know if you guys can turn it up but this is sluggish right now and it's not my computer I promise my computer is pretty good so it's not my computer I just the tools are not installed yet so once it does that it'll just ask you to do this I'm gonna just keep it the way it is now I suggest turning it off and pressing continue okay right, so now it's setting up your Mac now guys you can like, this is mainly used for, like, if you need to use Mac programs. Like, don't you... Okay. So, here it is right here. Mac OS X. As you notice, it's very sluggish. Like, if I try to open Launchpad, look at that. That's not how it's supposed to look. So, go ahead and over here, go to VM Tools, and double-click it. Install VM Tools. 
Now, like I said, these are crucial, basically. So go ahead and go to continue, install. Go ahead and type in your password. Continue installation. So go ahead and let this finish installing. It should not take that long. It should take less than a minute, just like this says. Now, guys, why this is doing it, if you do enjoy this video, and if you do do this, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I try to do at least three, t I'm going to try to do at least two to four two videos a week. So yeah, so once that's done, go ahead and click restart. It's asked to restart to install the tools. Now the restart shouldn't take that long. Is a spinning wheel. Whew. So yeah, okay, so restarted. Now you should be able to go ahead and click this and it should and it should go into it. But it, before you install the tools, you sh you won't be able to do that. Now I'm actually going to pause this one more time and let this go. Okay guys, so once it loads up again, you should go in this, go ahead and type in your password. And as you notice, it's not that sluggish anymore. So boom. You are back at this. And as you see, launch pad actually goes the, the speed it's supposed to. So yeah guys, um, you are pretty much done. You can go into full screen mode if you'd like to. So it technically does look like you are on a Mac. So the app store does work, but messages for me did not work. And FaceTime I never tested since I do not have a camera on my beer. So if you guys do find this useful, and if you guys do enjoy this, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.